Hey everyone, welcome to week two of our Get Out of Your Head online Bible study. My name is Kendra and we are joined by the author once again, Jenny Allen. Jenny, thank you for joining us for week two of study. Great to be here. <laughs> so good to see you again. And so Jenny, we talked last week about how you wrote this book, um, maybe a, a little over a year ago. It came out a little over a year ago. And so what are some new revelations that you have discovered now that you wrote the book? Something about your thought life or something new since writing the book? That is a great question because this has been a year for all of us. And like I said last week, I could not have imagined the timing of this project, how poignant it would be. And so it's been hard to live out what I write about, right? I think that's always true for all of us is, is we, we set the you know, expectation of, of following God and it's, it's a high cost. And, and so in this season for me, it has been, I have struggled with anxiety again in a way that I haven't in years. And honestly, that feeling of panic and it comes a lot quicker than it used to. And I just think we're all walking around and we're just a little bit more fragile than we were pre-COVID. And we're a little bit more tired. It feels like, I, and I don't totally know why we're tired, but it feels like there's this, you know, this pace that's picking up and, and I'm just trying to exhale and go, okay, I want to, to do what God has called me to do. And, and yet, you know, this, this is a season where the interruption to, to truth and to remember who I am and what God has promised, it has been something I have to use almost every day. Mm. And that word, you know, the interruption that, that I talk about in the book is I have a choice, that you have a choice, yeah. I have a choice. And that interrupter comes up in my mind daily, sometimes multiple times a day. <laughs> and and yeah, I mean, I just think there's a lot of intensity, right? That, that we're all feeling because of the craziness of 2020 and now 2021. Yes, and I love the relevancy of your message. I know we talked about this a little bit last week, but it's a book, like you said, like you're still putting it into practice of choosing when those thoughts come, choosing something, maybe redirect and choosing to replace the lies with the truth. And so that this book is, is gonna be relevant today, it's gonna be relevant next week, and it's gonna be relevant for the years to come because there's always a choice we can make to redirect our thoughts. So I love what you said there. And so now everybody, we are gonna toss to our To The Girl segment and that's where Jenny is really just gonna speak to the girl in a certain situation and that's to offer you guys encouragement and just meet you where you are. And so Jenny, I would love for you to talk to the girl who is nervous about a new normal. Oh yeah, we're headed into it. I think we're in the middle of it, right? This is. This is the season that everything's opening up and picking back up. And I do feel a little paralyzed. In fact, my capacity, I don't know if it shrunk over COVID, but it feels like what was a normal day pre-COVID is now an exhausting day today. And I don't know completely what's behind that, but I do know that we are a little PTSD from a season that has surprised us almost daily. And all of our um, feelings, whether it's from the election or from you know a worldwide pandemic, we could have never predicted the things that would happen in the last year, the racial tensions that, that we're all faced with. There's just so much hitting us every single day. And, and so I think one, to recognize the reality that you're not alone, that there's a universal anxiety and stress that's happening right now and, and to talk about it. I think the most important and helpful thing that you can do in this book is to begin to notice your thoughts. So there's a whole part about thinking about what you think about and actually looking at your thoughts because most of us don't think about what we think about. And then you can get to the source and you can kind of start to go, okay, what I'm really afraid of, it's not that I just you know lost my temper about this thing or I you know, want to crawl back in bed and get in my robe because I'm lazy. There's really some pressures that we're all facing and to name those and to begin to sort out our thoughts and to really see what the themes are and to keep bringing this, these to Jesus and to keep saying, okay, God help me again today because this isn't a once and for all solve it. And then to rebuild our lives on the things that matter to us, to be thoughtful about that and not to just run off with the pressures of the day and let them take back over. And I love that as we work on a new normal, 
Um, maybe like for me, my normal before COVID happened was not necessarily to, t to take a thought inventory or to really think about what I'm thinking about. So maybe my new normal, as I am that girl that you were talking about, um, is to recognize and rebuild. I can build that into my normal. And so I love that you gave some practical tips on how to do that. And so everyone, we are excited for week two. Jenny has more practical tips and just more stories to share with you throughout her book. And we're excited just to walk alongside you as we do get out of our own heads and stop the spiral toxic thoughts that we are thinking. And like I said last week, we can only do this through the power of God's word. And so when we know the truth and live the truth, it truly does change everything. And so we are excited for you guys to go into week two.